The El Brigade Municipal has something like 156 beds, so I bypassed that on principle and walked further into town and found the one I've got. This is a big town for chocolate, apparently. They even have a chocolate museum that I hope to visit. This is just one of several shops that I've passed so far, and I'm sure there are more that deal with chocolate and anything that complements that. Just an interesting looking older building. The cathedral's up behind it, slightly to the left. A friendly card game going on in the corner. Um, I always get a kick out of looking at old architecture, the stuff that's been left to decrepit until it actually falls. Because it makes me wonder, when was it new? How was it enjoyed when it was new? What was its life story? It's an abandoned building now. And it might have been quite elegant at one time. We may be next to part of an old wall. Astorga was a Roman city founded in 14 BC, lasting almost 500 years. It included walls that surround even the current town, as well as thermal baths with hot, warm, cold water systems saunas and two main sewer systems still in use today. Well, I think this was the thermal bath which was heated by ovens which heated water which heated stones which in turn heated air that flowed through these. Um, I think that was somewhat similar to how it was done in Arles. <clears throat> This was for private use. Apparently all of the rooms had hot and cold running water. Jump back. That's 2,000 years ago. There we can see a tile floor in a simple brick format. Apparently several levels of this. Um, notice down there is a bottom level whether that was a street level looks like those are paving stones so maybe so and then here we see some more of those um, chevron placed bricks if you will small bricks to create a pattern but beneath that either another layer or where water like for sewer would run and then there again at a higher level another chevron type of surface but with smaller stone perhaps indicating a you know, better use and then over here of course the piece de resistance the um, mosaics which you can't see very well you know, let's see if the camera can those are probably birds there so that's the parajos <coughs> had more elegant colors or it may have been more distinct than that of when they were new and clean. That was there. Equivalent of our most elegant of carpets or maybe Persian carpets would be a good example. And this was a private residence of the first century of an important Roman individual and his family. And this mosaic is actually a second or third century mosaic. This is an attempt to reconstruct its designs, but again, I don't see a bear in there anywhere. I'm guessing that pipe is a modern convenience and device that was installed before they had that much respect for the ruins or out of absolute necessity. Imagine the day 2,000 years ago that somebody installed these floors and walls, not the ones that are reconstructed, but others. That's cool. A guy in a wheelchair pushing a guy 
on a mobile stretcher type of device. These ruins I shot from up at that corner up there apparently are of the Roman Forum. But obviously it's under excavation and well, they know what some of the parts were. They're not identified to the public as yet. Okay, this is apparently a drawing of what the Forum would have looked like. Whether this drawing is orientated to this position or not, I can't tell. But perhaps that long wall and then these big square bases may have been the basis for the wall, uh, the main wall uh, there. And then these for the co some of the columns and here another either main wall or uh, subsidiary support. But that doesn't look like a well. This is perhaps the original part of their drainage system. I think these holes that we see here are probably archaeologists excavation holes. So this church I'm standing outside of, or at least this uh, chapel, Capilla uh, de la Silla Vera Cruz, uh, was built in 1816. We must either be near a location where these folks live, or there must be a special tour for people who are on wheelchair devices. This presumably is what some Pedagrinos look like, although hard to imagine somebody having that big a coat on and carrying suitcase in that manner that distance but this visitor center is right next door to that first uh, Albergue Municipal and apparently it runs alongside the river where it's a pretty esplanade the visitor center set and they're supposed to be able to get something to drink in here so so I'm guessing that we're going to be walking along the old city's walls fortified walls I would assume under some restoration right now here we can look down the wall and see what might have actually been, if in fact this is authentic. And we can actually look in other people's houses. Off there in that direction, or more slightly to the west, I think, than where I'm looking, um, the one up in those mountains where, is where I'll be climbing tomorrow en route to Santiago. I think this is the eccentric guy who's one of his eccentricities is that he has done most of the Caminos and has the uh, credentials from all of them to prove it. I've already had my potato and egg omelet. It's redundant, of course, but I thought I'd sit here and have some more potatoes and some agua con gas, water with gas and enjoy sitting in this pretty little park area. So the room and ruins we saw a few minutes ago are where you see 26 right there. And there it is, a little better. And I've gone to the garden that's to the right where you see the number 10. Right there. And I'm sitting in a cafe which is probably where that what looks like a yellow arrow is. So when I'm done, I'll probably migrate back over to number eight, which is a, the Museum Roma, if I can get in there, and then go to Plaza Mayor just so we can take a look at it. And then I will probably migrate up to number six, which I passed earlier, I guess, and that's the Museo de Chocolate the Chocolate Museum.